what is the pain you're prepared to swallow the most? The most important question to ask is what pain do you want in your life? What are you willing to struggle for? Anything worthwhile is going to require some degree of pain and struggle. So if you're oriented toward the pain and the struggle, you're probably going to be more aligned with what you're capable of accomplishing rather than if you just orient toward the pleasures. We say find the thing you enjoy the most, but really what you're finding is nothing worthwhile is going to come without discomfort. I would be lying if I said I love writing show notes or doing research in Guatemala airport at three in the morning because I'm on a delayed flight and I've got a flight, I've got an episode tomorrow. It's grind. Grind that I care about and it's grind that I can do that other people couldn't do. It's not not grind. I take the bins out at 7 a.m. in the morning yesterday. I didn't want to do that, but I did it. What would happen if you didn't take the bins out? Well, he'd get a fine, have an overflowing bin out the front of his house. So the why is high. The psychological enjoyment of pursuing taking the bins out is very low and the friction of getting out of bed at 7 a.m. is high. But thankfully, the why is so strong that regardless of the fact that the pursuit, the enjoyment of the pursuit is low and the friction is high, the behavior still occurs. Time is the currency we're playing with in every moment of our lives recording the podcast. Does it really matter to you? Yes. Is there psychological enjoyment from the pursuit? Yes. Is the friction high? Mm, four out of 10. But if we added up the first part of the equation, how much does it matter to you out of 10? 10. What's the psychological enjoyment of the pursuit? Nine. So I'd say we're about 19 takeaway four. And because it's positive, the yeah. behavior will occur. You can do that as a minus four. A lot of people are driven by pain rather than pleasure. 100%. The chip on your shoulder accounts for so much. It can account for so much. You know, somebody who had a really bad period of mental health, they suffered with anxiety attacks and it lost them something or somebody scorned them and they go, oh, okay. And then they decide to commit themselves to mental health and improving the texture of their own mind. That's coming from a place of wanting to prove other people wrong. Well, deep shame and insecurity about not being enough drove me like you've, like I was an obsessed, hungry dog for it's still doing it now.